Hi, I'm Monique Wright from Channel 7 and today's big story comes from the heart of Western Sydney. It's the new Sydney Zoo. Stick around because we're going to give you all of the insider tips to make the most of your amazing day out here at Sydney Zoo. Right now though, let's cross to Mel McLaughlin who's been checking out all the action. That's right Mon, it's been a long time coming but the brand new Sydney Zoo is finally here. So Mel, similar to your work at Channel 7, you've spent the morning hanging out with the lions, the chimps, the orangutans and the koalas. Did you have a favourite? It's a hard call, but the orangutans were incredible. I was also blown away by Australia's largest reptile and nocturnal house, and of course the aquarium. And Mel, you've confirmed reports that they have my personal favourite, the capybara, which is the largest rodent in the world. That's right, Mon. It's amazing what Sydney Zoo has done. No one else in the world has brought together so many animals all at once. First, you're going to need a ticket. The best way to do that is jump online. Not only does it guarantee you a ticket, but also you can save a whopping 27%. Simply head to sydneyzoo.com, select your date, time and tickets. It's so easy. I think it's really great value, Mon, but for animal lovers like me, my advice for a day at Sydney Zoo is buy a membership so you can keep coming back. That's sydneyzoo.com to buy your tickets today. We've got our reporter on the ground ready to tell us the best ways about getting to Sydney Zoo. Let's cross to our reporter in the field, Whippa. Once you bought your ticket from sydneyzoo.com, it's time to get you there. Let's go. <laughs> Sydney Zoo is the easiest zoo to access in the city. It's located just off the Great Western Highway at Bungarabi and it's just 60 seconds from the M7 and M4 motorways and only 40 minutes from the city. Here's one of the best inside tips I can give you. Sydney Zoo offers free parking on site, but you've got to register your spot. The only way to do that is by buying a ticket at sydneyzoo.com. It's going to get busy, so to avoid congestion, the Sydney Zoo team are going to be there to help you out. Just make sure you've got your tickets handy. Thank you. There's no need to snake your way into someone else's park. The Sydney Zoo team will be there to help you out. If you opted for the free park and ride service, you'll receive an email with a map showing you how to get there. It's just a short five minute shuttle and departs every five minutes. And the best part, if you take the park and ride service, you'll receive a $10 food and drink voucher to spend. Now that you've arrived, make sure you keep your ticket handy and go straight to the express entrance. My tip of the day, check out the lines at Pride Rock. Oh, and did I tell you they've got Capybara here? Whipper. Well, here's what you can expect from a day at Sydney Zoo. I'm here at the Australia Precinct, where you can wander amongst the open range kangaroos, wallabies and emus and see koalas and Tassie devils up close. Don't forget to check out Australia's largest reptile and nocturnal house, which is completely buried. And the freshwater aquarium holds a whopping one million litres of water. And Mel, can you give us your top tips for checking out the rest of Sydney Zoo? Once you've finished in the Australian Precinct, head over to Primate Boulevard where they've got two of the great apes in one of Australia's most diverse primate collections. Then be transported to Southeast Asia with iconic species like tigers and red pandas. And then why not finish off your day with the lions, cheetahs and zebras at the African savannah? And the sunsets from the boardwalk really make you feel like you're on safari. Now Sydney summers can be hot. But don't worry, there's plenty of shade and misting stations for both animals and guests to keep you nice and cool. Now let's head over to Amanda, captain of the GWS Giants. Greater Western Sydney might have to wait another year for an AFL premiership, but they don't have to wait any longer for the new Sydney Zoo. Hey guys, who wants to see the Tigers? Me. Lions? Me. Orangutans? Me. Capybaras? Me. Let's go! Some of the things we do at the Giants to keep fit are lots of hills and lots of steps. Thankfully at Sydney Zoo, there are none. So prams and wheelchairs can move around the space with ease. Keep an eye out for the free water refill stations and remember to pack a hat and sunscreen. When you get to the zoo, you don't want to miss the keeper talks and the animal feeding. My top tip for the day at Sydney Zoo, connect to the free Wi-Fi. That way we can send you the schedule and keep up to date with any changes. Thanks, Amanda. Wow, that's awesome. No hills, no steps. That's perfect for lazy people like me or anyone with a pram or the capybaras with their little stubby legs. Now, after all that non-strenuous walking, what about the food out here? Well, let's talk to legendary chef Justin North about what's in store. 
when you come to Sydney Zoo, you're going to get hungry. But the best news is, they've got the most amazing array of fresh, beautiful food that caters to every single dietary need. I'm here at Boulevard Eatery, one of three incredible restaurants and cafes at Sydney Zoo where you can dine right next to the tigers and the meerkats so the parents can chill and the kids can run wild. Sounds pretty good to me. You can get all the classics here at Sydney Zoo, amazing burgers, salads and sandwiches, great sushi. The kitchen team have gone all out, but my favourite is this incredible burger. It's the best burger in the West, I'm telling you. I'm not lying, it really is a great menu. Sydney Zoo has some beautiful grassy little picnic spots so you can grab a coffee, sit outdoors, the kids can play, you can even make your own picnic and come and hang out with a family. No day at the zoo is complete without a trip to the gift shop, so don't forget those really special gifts for the kids. You don't happen to have any capybara, do you? Of course we do. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're Amazing, thanks Justin. Well, there you have it. All the insider tips to make the most of your day at the new Sydney Zoo.